Hi, um, in this video tutorial, let's understand one of the fundamental concept of object orientation that is association. Think about a scenario for a while. How do you represent an employee or multiple employees associated with a, a company? Another example, uh, how do you represent an engine associated with uh, a car object? Or how do you represent a student associated with a college? So this a relationship between one object which is associated with another object is called as association. Or in another words, it's also called as has a relationship. That is, we say a college has a student. Or it can also be represented as a college has multiple students. So multiple students can be associated with one object. Here college is one object, students are objects. So multiple student objects are associated with college objects. Similarly, a company has employees. So one employee or multiple employees are associated with one company. So this a relationship between employee and the company is called association. Uh, if you closely observe in our day to day life, so many objects get associated with each other. Example, um, your mobile object associated with the battery object. So how are you going to programmatically represent this relationship that is association? Correct? So that is what we are going to understand in this whole video tutorial that is called association or has a relationship. I hope you understood what is the simple meaning of association. Okay. So there are two forms of association. One is called composition and the other one is called aggregation. Okay. In, in the next tutorial, we are going to understand uh, in detail about how uh, composition works and how uh, uh, aggregation works and uh, what is the difference between aggregation and composition and I'm going to demonstrate some programs uh, practical programs clearly with the memory uh, diagram okay do watch that 